welcome back. My name is Catherine, and today we're gonna talk about some New Year's resolutions. Most of the time when we talk about New Year's resolutions, they're very broad. It's eat better, work out more, maybe reading more. But what if you add some New Year's resolutions for your career? So today we're gonna talk about five different ways that you can level up your software development career in 2021. Resolution number one, commit to doing code reviews. If you don't know what a code review is, don't worry. It's just reviewing someone else's code. There are a bunch of tools, techniques in order to review other people's code well. And so this year, maybe learn about that. Learn how to do a code review. What should you be looking for in reviewing someone else's code? How much code do you review? You can check out my LinkedIn Learning Course, Programming Foundations, Conducting Code Reviews, and this is a part of everyday software development once you get into the industry. If you're working on a production level product, so you have customers that will be upset if your code's not working, code reviews are often part of the practice of software development. It's something that you'll do every day or that you should be doing every day. So that's why this resolution is commit to doing code reviews. Try to do at least one code review a day if they're available. Sometimes there's not code up for review. A little bit of terminology here, but when you put code up for review, usually you'll put it up in something called a pull request. So you'll submit a pull request to a code base and then someone else will pull down that code, do a code review on it, so review the code, and then post comments or feedback to the author. If you wanna learn more about that, the course is down below, but reviewing other people's code can really help you get a better perspective on software development in general. You'll get exposed to new approaches and maybe learn about a few new tools that you didn't know before. Usually for code to get added to a code base that's used in production, you'll have to go through the code review process. So if you do more code reviews, you'll not only get exposure to how others write code and their approaches to solutions, but you'll also get changes merged faster or changes and features added into your code base and hitting customers faster. It helps you, it helps your team. If you add reading and reviewing code to your software developer routine, I guarantee you'll see some results in 2021. All right, New Year's resolution number two, pick up harder work. It's pretty easy to get into the flow of programming. You've worked on databases before, you've worked with infrastructure before, maybe you've had experience implementing certain types of features before. So that's the work you choose to do because you're familiar with it and hey, I can add a database. I know how to do it. I can crank it out in a few hours and then I'll be done and it'll be great and I've done my job and it's all fine and I'm comfortable. But that's not how you become a better software developer. You have to consistently pick up harder work or work you're unfamiliar with, something that's new, something that you had never done before in order to become a better software developer. It also keeps you diversified. Sure, you might be able to build infrastructure or build CI CD pipelines or maybe you write feature code but if you learn how to do all of those things then you can step in wherever your team needs you another option is if you're already familiar with a certain subject say integrating certain features from another team or working with databases you could choose to mentor someone else on your team so someone else on your team would do the actual implementation but you would lead them in the right direction and if they have questions they come to you that's how you're gonna grow as a software developer developing leadership skills along Along with getting exposure to things you're unfamiliar with. All right, resolution number three. This one's a little bit more typical and it's, you know, workout type of resolution, but set a meeting for 15 minutes or 30 minutes a day on your calendar. Put it sometime in the afternoon and make it a yoga break. This is something I've started doing in 2020. I used to use the Aptive app, which had audio-based yoga classes, but now I use the Peloton app and seeing someone else do the workout with me just motivates me. I don't know why. And they have 20 minute yoga classes and 30 minute yoga classes. So usually I'll try to do one of those a day. Sometimes it doesn't happen, but it has definitely helped me. And maybe you don't start with every single day, but you try one day a week or two times a week, setting a 2.30 meeting on your calendar for 15 minutes to do some yoga or walk outside or whatever you'd like it to be, but to step away from your code or whatever you're working on. It's a practical resolution and maybe it'll help you. All right. Number four, give a presentation at work to an audience that's not just your team. Knowledge sharing can help make a project that was set to 
take 12 months happen in three months. You likely know a lot more about a certain topic. Maybe it's work related, maybe it's not work related, but you know about a lot of things that your teammates don't know about, or even people in other organizations or on other teams don't know about. This could be something you've implemented recently, a new JavaScript framework, or even a new feature in a programming language that your team or another team already uses. It could be a special tool in your command line, a new IDE you're using. It could literally be anything. Now I say to an audience that's larger than your team, your team can be there, don't exclude the team, but it should be larger than your team so you increase your visibility. You see your team every day or you talk to your team every day, but do those outside of your team know who you are? Do they know what you do? Could they come to you and ask for help about a given topic? Giving presentations to larger audiences helps increase your visibility at the company. This can help you get cooler projects, get promoted, and gain respect from your peers. It could be as informal or formal as you like. Maybe your company does a conference every year. Apply to go speak at that conference. Maybe it's a simple brown bag, so a lunch meeting where you invite a couple different teams to hear about a given topic. Giving a presentation sounds scary to most developers, as we're used to mainly reading code, writing code, and reviewing code. We might also be making diagrams or in other meetings, but often we're not giving the presentations unless it's a demo. And a demo does count. Volunteer to do your team's demo at the next big company meeting. It's all about increasing your visibility and getting yourself out of your comfort zone. All right, number five, learn about a new topic in software development. I'm not saying to go crazy and learn the intricacies of machine learning, but learn a little bit more about it. Maybe you're a front-end developer and you've never used Amazon Web Services. Learn about a few of the services. If you're a back-end developer, try learning React. Have you tried cybersecurity, blockchain? Maybe you're pretty technical but want to improve your management skills. Take a leadership course. One of the best places to start is with LinkedIn Learning. I teach on LinkedIn Learning. I have courses on Python, code reviews, infrastructure, debugging, Java, C Sharp, lots of good courses up there. And the Java course learning Java is actually free right now and it will probably be free for a while so I suggest you bookmark some of the courses maybe they're my courses or they're someone else's but bookmark a few and try to do at least one a quarter most of the courses are an hour to two hours long some of them are a little bit longer but if you can dedicate 30 minutes a week to learning a new topic and maybe 30 more minutes to practice with that new topic you'll be surprised what you learn so those are your software development New Year's resolutions Commit to doing more code reviews or learn about them. Pick up harder work consistently. Set up a 15 minute meeting on your calendar for yoga or walking outside. Give a presentation at work to an audience that's not just your team and learn about a new topic in software development. Maybe you do all five of these. Maybe you do one of them. We're also hopeful at the beginning of a new year. So pick one, stick with it for a month. And if you find results, keep with it. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a happy new year.